National Football League highlights. The only program that brings you all the action in the National Football League every week. This is Jim Leeming with National Football League highlights featuring the action from all seven National League games each week. Watch with us as the world champion Eagles turn back the Cleveland Browns. The Baltimore Colts edge the Los Angeles Rams. The Dallas Cowboys upset the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Detroit Lions overcome the Green Bay Packers. The San Francisco 49ers humble the Washington Redskins. The St. Louis Cardinals upset the New York Giants. And in another big reversal, the brand new Minnesota Vikings surprised the Chicago Bears. Dallas Cowboys, who failed to find victory in their first NFL season, opened their second with a tough assignment. The Pittsburgh Steelers, perennial Eastern Conference spoilers. More than 23,000 turn out to the Cotton Bowl to see if their team has improved. Don Meredith sets their minds at ease in the first quarter. Don retreats and fires to Frank Clark. The Steelers are completely fooled, and Frank races in to give the Cowboys a quick score. It's 7-0 Dallas. In the second quarter, Alan Green is punting for the Cowboys. Rookie linebacker Myron Patios breaks through to block the kick and recover the loose ball. The ex Notre Dameers effort makes it goal to go, Pittsburgh. John Henry Johnson gets them there by cutting back at right tackle. It's a tie game at 7 7. The incomparable Bobby Lane gets his wing warmed up for the Steelers. Bobby hits Buddy Dial and his Cowboy defender bites the dust as Dial dashes in to score. The 44 yard play gives Pittsburgh a 14 7 lead. The Cowboys now at a 14 10 on a field goal before the half end. Lou Michaels kicks off for Pittsburgh to open the second half. Amos Marsh a rookie from Oregon State gets off to a bad start but makes up for lost time with a dazzling 58 yard return. To the Pittsburgh 45. Little Eddie LeBaron enters the game and works a little razzle dazzle with Amos Marsh. Eddie finally fires to Billy Houghton at the goal line and Billy trots across. The Cowboys take over the lead at 17 14. The Steelers tie it up on a Michaels field goal and the Cowboys try to counter. Meredith's pass is picked off by Johnny Sample. Johnny streaks 39 yards to score and Pittsburgh breaks the tie. Their 24-17 lead looks good with six minutes left to play. But with 56 seconds left, Eddie LeBaron explodes the Cowboys into the scoring column again. Eddie hits Dick Bielski right at the goal line, and Bielski scores. The conversion ties everything up tight at 24 apiece. Interception with about 20 seconds left gives LeBaron another chance. The little general jars the Steelers with a 41 yard pitch to Billy Houghton. With one second on the clock, Alan Green toes home a 27 yard field goal to give the Dallas Cowboys their first National Football League victory, a final second 27 24 mastery of the tough Pittsburgh Steelers. The victory by the Cowboys. And the league's newest team, the Minnesota Vikings, proves there will be no easy pickings in the National Football League this year. 